Welcome to this presentation on extending a configuration model with code through API. My name is Dennis Conrad and I'm a software development engineer at Microsoft. The active role today is the product designer Emil. The things we'll be going through today is first of all we're going to start with an introduction to the product configuration API. Then I'm going to be showing you how you can make an association between an ABI class and a product configuration model. Using the API classes, I'm going to show you how to navigate through the product configuration model structure. Finally, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the API classes to manipulate fields on the generated bill of material. The Product Configuration API consists of a number of classes. Starting with the PC Adapter class. This is the class that you need to extend in order to have your extensions executed when configuring a Product Configuration model. The class has a reference to the PC Adapter source document line. This class contains information about the source document from which the configurator has been executed. This could, for instance, be the sales line. It also has a reference to the PC Adapter product configuration model. This class reflects the product configuration model and has a reference to the PC Adapter component class. The PC Adapter component class resembles the root component of the product configuration model. The root component may have zero or more references to instance of the class PC Adapter subcomponent, which may in turn have a reference to another PC Adapter component. This is how the parent-child relation between components and subcomponents are implemented. The PC Adapter component may have references to several PC Adapter attributes PC Adapter bomb lines and PC Adapter route operation. Each of these classes contain information which reflect the information in the modeling environment. The API works in this way. If we go through the configuration process, once the configurator is launched, we'll have the user make some selections. At some point, the user will accept the configuration and we build up the data structure using the PC Adapter classes. We will have a check for whether or not an extension class exists for the current model being executed. If no extension exists, then the bomb and route will be generated. However, if an extension does exist, this extension will be executed, giving the partner a chance to execute his extensions before the bomb and route is generated. Okay, now let's see how we can associate an API class with a product configuration model. The first thing we need to do is to extend the PC Adapter class. Second, we will add the name of the model that we want to extend in a PC Adapter extension attribute in the class declaration of our extension of the PC Adapter class. Next, we'll overwrite the run method and Finally, we may need to clear the cache of Sys extension framework. First, let's look at AX. I'll open up the 20001 home theater system model in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. We have the home theater system here, and I'm just going to launch the test runtime. So here we'll see the configuration dialog, and I will select some values just enough to basically get me through the configuration. I'll press OK and nothing happens here. OK, so now I want to extend the functionality of the configurator by executing my own custom code after the OK button is pressed. So I'll open the AOT and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new class call it PC demo 2. So this class will be extending 
the PC adapter class. It will have a PC adapter extension attribute with the name of the model, which is 20001. And finally, I will overwrite the run method of the PC adapter class, and I'm just gonna info out this message. It compiles. So let's just see if this works just like that. So executing the configurator again, selecting the starting values. And pressing OK. So nothing happened. Well, there's an explanation for that. So the product configuration API relies on what is known as the Sys extension framework. And this is basically a framework for finding an extension class given the super class and an attribute. And it has a cache for performance reasons. So we just need to make sure that this cache is clear. And I do this by executing this command in an X++ job. Now let's return to the product configuration environment. I'll relaunch my model, select the attributes here, or values for the attributes, and I'll press OK. So now in the info log, I see my hello message has popped out. Now I will show you how you can use API classes to navigate through the product configuration model structure. I will show you an example of how you can use map enumerators to enumerate through different elements of the components. You can also navigate to specific elements in a component using its solver name. Now we're back in AX. I've modified uh, the demo one class and added a piece of code or a method called print component attributes. What this method does is that it gets an enumerator of the current component for the given attributes of the component and then enumerates over these attributes, printing out their name and their value. It does this recursively for all the components in the model. So if I try to configure the home theater system, what you'll see is that, let me just select some values here. So when I press OK here, my custom code will be executed and I get a nice info log here showing the hierarchical data structure of the home theater system. And what you can see is that I have the same attributes as I do in the model. So I have the apply same color, I have the color and power cable for the root component of the home theater system. The last thing I will be showing you is how you can use the API classes to manipulate fields on the generated bill of material. We'll navigate to a PC adapter bomb line class and then we'll use PAR methods to change the desired field values. Back in the PC demo one class, I've now modified the run method. What I'm doing is I will be navigating to the attribute for the power cable of the home theater system. I do this by going to the product configuration model, getting the root component, and then I call the get attribute, giving it the solver name of the power cable length attribute. The next thing I do is I want to get an in, I want to get the instance of the PC adapter bomb line class, which represents the power cable. I do this again using the same navigation approach, but calling the get bomb line using the name of the bomb line. Then I retrieve the value the user has inputted for the power cable. And then I do a calculation where I just multiply this value by 2.5 and assign it to the quantity field on the bomb. In order to get a bill of material, I will configure the product from the sales order line.
I'll load a template just to speed things a little bit up. I'm just gonna put in 10. This will make it easier for us to validate that the API classes has done as it is intended. Okay, now I will navigate to the generated bill of material. So for the home theater system, I will look at the lines of this and the power cable is here. If I go under the setup tab, I can see that the quantity field is 25 as expected. So I input it 10 multiplied by 2.5. So this was a short demonstration of how you can use uh, the PC Adapt API to modify your bill of material and do calculations of various kinds. This concludes this demonstration. I hope you found this information useful. See you again.